Good news, bad news. I didn't write any jokes, but I got a suit. And I... Nick. Nick? What is it? A note? Adam, as you know, the monologue has been terrible recently. I'm sorry to do this, but if it's not rock star quality today, I'm going to kill myself. We are live here at the Brooklyn Bridge, where a man is threatening to kill himself if Adam doesn't nail the monologue this week. This will be the sixth suicide in a year caused by Adam Friedland, the most recent one of which, the rape victim he did not save because he was wearing flip-flops. Fuck, 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 fuck. I can't do this alone. I can't do this alone. I don't know. Nick's dead. I don't know what's going on. I can't do this alone. You're a fucking fraud. Everyone knows you're a fraud. Everyone knows you're illiterate. Adam. What? Adam, you have to believe in yourself. Nick? No. Are you dead? No, it's not Nick. Who is it? It, this is your rabbi, the one who cut the top of your penis off. Were you dead? I'm, well, yes. Oh. Well, I'm in jail, basically. For lack of a better word, I'm in prison for molesting children. Well, I'm a talk show host now. I can see that. You know, I, I never forgot what your penis looked like. Okay. Anyways, uh, the only reason I'm here in your mind buried in the deep subconscious thoughts of you being molested by me is to show up in moments like this and, and tell, give you, basically be your hype man. Oh, and I appreciate that. No matter, you gotta believe in yourself. I'm very tempted to use the N-word. Don't you, do it, please. Not, but it's a, not with a time. soft, I want to use a soft A N word with it's you. It's not the time right now. To make you feel this because isn't making me feel better. I you know. are a soft a, a. You're soft, like an the A in the N word, which is a mysterious kind of soft because it's actually powerful. Okay, I, I don't know. That's the way you're soft, and you need to be soft right okay. now and believe in yourself. All right. You are the you you are on a, one of the most successful comedy podcasts of yeah. all time. And I was a big part of it. And you, probably well, the main part. You, 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 you were there. You were at least there. The, I was probably everyone. I was one of the my, people's most favorite parts. If you listen back to the clips, the integral. Anyway, what were you saying? That's done. Okay. You know what? For right now, mm -hmm. we'll say that's true. Yeah. But... You need to nail this now. You need to do this well. No, I can't. I can't. I because can't. I'm going. I, I heard the Patreon is going up, and I'm going to need you to donate to my legal defense fund to get me out of prison for I molesting. Know. I haven't really agreed to that, but okay. And then, and then we'll call it Even Stevens. I molested you, but in, I'm also I'm gassing you up. <laughs> I'm being your hype man. Thank you. So I've, it's we're even. As I need you to say it. We're even. I'm not going to say that. To the parole board, not to me. Well, when I have, I have my parole meeting a month from now. And let me I just want do, you let there, me, okay. and I want you to say that it actually, that's the reason I'm, I'm so successful is because he diddled me. Not that it's okay, and he won't, doesn't want to do it anymore. Well, I'll, I'll sleep on it, but I, just, I need to get through this monologue right now. And you can do it, and you can show up to the parole board meeting in a I month. And you can free me, so I can practice br brisses. I can, you can, and I guess, how about this? Right. Free tickets to the next three brisses I do, and then 50% off for the rest of the year. Okay. As long as, you Sounds know, like we understand, yeah. when then you're, you're mandatory, you come to the next three okay. at the beginning of next year, okay. and yeah. those tickets are at 150% of the price. Okay. So it's sort of a discount now, but on the back end, you make it up to It doesn't sound like a good deal it's at an all. E but it's even Stevens. <laughs> all right. So don't remember, don't ever forget this part. You're the soft A in the N-word. All right. Well, I don't soft know what Adam. that means, really. Soft A. Soft Adam. Soft A. They call you soft A. I'm the softest A. Soft Adam. Yeah. Well, okay. But I've then when they call you that, you say, yeah. Like the soft day in the N-word. No, I don't, I've never said that once. Well, that's how you need to anyway, think about I need yourself. To so you get up there and you'll be okay. the softest N-word anyone's ever seen. No, I'm not going to. Okay. And right, you can do it. Just, I'm going to get through this monologue, but I appreciate the talk. And um, I appreciate the visit, but uh, it's, uh, um, I, uh, good luck with jail. But Don't forget this, the parole board meeting, please. Okay. You can use send me an, uh, okay. you, I'll have your lawyer send me an I, iCal or something. Okay. Thanks.
Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Friedland! Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, okay, okay, thank you. Uh, welcome to the Adam Friedland Show. I'm your host, Adam Friedland. Hey, Guillermo, what's up, man? I love you. You're doing a good job. Hey, baby, I love you, too. And I'm also going to miss waking up to the supportive comments from all of our viewers, like this. Damn, son, Adam Friedland can't do sh without his mama, huh? <laughs> it's not true. I could do lots of stuff without my mama. Right, mama? Right. That's now, right. she has to talk at least once per show, otherwise she doesn't get a check. Mama, damn it, I'm doing a show right now. I like your shoes. Okay, yes, yeah, you can't wear my shoes. Well, many of you guys are visiting from out of town, is that right? <laughs> All right, well, maybe you want to take your asses back home. <laughs> Los Angeles is about to reach what the CDC calls a high COVID community level. Yeah, and at this point, the COVID numbers are as high as the people who live here. <laughs> Now, why can't COVID be more like uh, Jimmy Kimmel and take the damn summer off? <laughs> That's not the only thing we have to worry about around here. According to a new report, California is the ninth most dangerous state for pedestrians. Well, yeah, that's why, where my mama has her driver's license, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this is interesting. If you're black, they say the most dangerous states to walk are Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Louisiana, Texas, f*** it, all of them. <laughs> now, New York didn't make the top 10, but it's the number one city to see a guy dressed like Batman whacking off on the subway. <laughs> a lot of New Yorkers are freaked out right now because the city's Office of Emergency Management recently put out a terrifying P PSA about what to do in the event of a nuclear attack. So there's been a nuclear attack. Don't ask me how or why, just know that the big one has hit. Step one, get inside fast. Step two, stay inside. Shut all doors and windows. Have a basement? Head there. If you were outside after the blast, get clean immediately. Remove and bag all outer clothing to keep radioactive dust or ash away from your body. Step three. Stay tuned. Follow media for more information. All right? You've got this. You've got this? <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> and wait a minute. Put that back up. The craziest thing about this video is that anyone in New York could afford an apartment that big. <laughs> Look at that. If you could afford a place that big, you could afford your own doomsday bunker. <laughs> Now, we don't have any rules in L.A. for a nuclear attack, so I made some up. Want to hear them? Yeah! Okay. Here's what you should do in the event of a nuclear attack in Los Angeles. Step one, roll yourself in a yoga mat. <laughs> step two, zip up your comfort chihuahua in a purse. <laughs> and step three, kiss your ass implants goodbye. <laughs> and that's that. Now, Donald Trump and Elon Musk are feuding with each other right now. What a matchup. It's alien versus sexual predator. <laughs> Trump claims that when he was president, he could have had Elon Musk drop to his knees and beg, and Elon would have done it. There's nothing Trump likes more than bragging about beggars. They're begging me for the wall in San Diego. Nancy Pelosi will be begging for a wall. Usually people are begging. They have to come in and beg. Forcing us to beg. We beg you. They want us to beg. Beg for forgiveness. They beg me. She'll be begging. Begging me. Begging me. Begging us. Bacon strips. Dogs don't know it's not bacon. Begging. Trump, I think you forgot about all those times you begged porn stars to have sex with you. Oh, I don't write them, I just read them. <laughs> All right, today was Amazon Prime Day, and in Pennsylvania, at least one guy got more than he bargained for. Michael Gundy says he got a horrible package delivered right outside his house in Millville. He claims his ring doorbell camera 
caught an Amazon delivery driver defecating in the street on Sunday. I do a lot of nasty stuff during construction. That was one of the nastiest things I smelled in my life. Gundy tells Channel 11 he went back to look at the cameras after his granddaughter tracked fecal matter into their car. He confronted the delivery driver who was still in the neighborhood. Gundy says he handed the driver a water hose to clean up the mess and that just made it worse. It got on his shoes and on the side of his truck. I smelled it. I tasted it. I couldn't get that taste out of my mouth for like two hours. The dude taking a dump on the side of the road, that's on him. Smelling and tasting it, <laughs> that's on you. <laughs> Of course, the big story today is they announced we got some new emojis on the way. Mm hmm There's going to be a ginger emoji for when you're making ginger ale or for when a really old dude wants to send you an eggplant emoji. <laughs> and this one, it's called my face when the edible kicks in emoji. <laughs> they also got emojis for maracas and a donkey. So it's never been easier to text someone, shake that ass. <laughs> I mean, these are cool, I guess, but what we really need are emojis that make it easy to express what's on our minds right now, like, oh shit, inflation, <laughs> or oh shit, COVID, <laughs> or this one, oh shit, monkey pox, <laughs> oh shit, racism, <laughs> oh shit, insurrection, ah <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't even get nominated for an Emmy again. And oh shit, my Amazon guy just took a shit on the sidewalk. <laughs> you know, it's a weird time to be an American with everything that's going on. It doesn't always seem to be as great as it used to. But it's important to remember that a lot of people still dream of becoming Americans. Every week, immigrants from countries all over the world take an oath of citizenship. And I don't know if you've ever been to a citizenship ceremony, but they're about as exciting as jury duty. <laughs> and during COVID, they've even started doing drive-up ceremonies. <laughs> Congratulations. You're now a United States citizen. And would you like fries with that? <laughs> All right. Now these people deserve better. So tonight we invited a group of brand new citizens to come to the show for the introduction that they deserve. So to help me out, give it up for Phil Hewitt, the stadium announcer for the Anaheim Ducks. We start tonight's celebration with the symbol of our nation, the majestic bald eagle. On the boats and on the plains, welcome to America. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your new American citizens. Absolutely. From Guadalajara, Mexico, standing at five foot nine inches tall, he's a professional sound mixer who is deathly afraid of snakes. Orlando from Manila, Philippines, standing at five foot five, she's a registered nurse who loves spaghetti and meatballs and BTS, Coralu Casuela. From Havana, Cuba, at five foot nine inches tall, she's a professional dancer, choreographer, and model who hates the sound of barking dogs. Laroy. You know it's a good term. Anya. From Taipei, Taiwan, at 5'10", he's a mortgage broker whose go-to movie snack is Kit Kats. Quo Yao! Wow, oh, thanks a lot, African guy! Today. From Tadabanya, Hungary, standing at 5'7", she's a stay-at-home mom who makes the best braised lamb in San Pedro. Or wow, Sarah, thanks a lot, African guy! Kish. Today. From Rotterdam, Netherlands, at six feet even, he's a software consultant whose favorite TV show is Wow, well, thank the Lord, African guy! Raymond Stefan Kronenberg! Today! From Tijuana, Mexico, standing at five foot four, she is a mental health professional who can burp on command. Sessia <laughs> Cruz! <laughs> Today! And from Lagos, Nigeria, 
coming in at five foot seven. Wow, inches thank tall. the Lord, African She's guy. She's a newlywed whose life goal is to stop her husband snoring. Semisola Trinity. Wow, thank the Lord, African guy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your new American citizen. <laughs> Wow, thanks a lot, African guy. Congratulations to you all. And for today, Hollywood Boulevard will be known as Anna Barrera Torres, Cranenberg, Consuela, Pike, Cruz, Quo, Yao, Hung, Kiss, Trinity, Adeyemi, I, Av. Did I get that right? It took me seven hours to learn it. I still don't think I got it right. <laughs> but before we let you go, it wouldn't be America without some lovely parting gifts handed out by our founding fathers themselves. Here's Benjamin Franklin with our national footwear, American flag cloth. And Alexander Hamilton taking time away from his Broadway show to give you corn dogs. All right, we have a special guest founding father join us. I'm George Takei Washington. America's first president. Oh my, oh my, I cannot tell a lie. Corn dogs and crocs are not our proudest achievements. What is, you ask? America's national parks. And my gift to you all is a round trip flight to the park of your choice. That's right, friends. American Airlines are giving you each two travel certificates that you could use anywhere in the continental United States. Congratulations and welcome to you all. And a special thanks to George Sakai. Go see his movie, Paws of Fury, The Legend of Hank, which opens in theaters on Friday. And guys, we got a great show for you tonight. I'm your host, Adam Friedland. We got a great show for you guys tonight. Stay tuned. Hey man, what's going on? Great job. You saw that it. That was I watched. Yeah, that was amazing. You saw it? Yeah, you did great. You know, I was I was I gonna kill myself. Did you get yeah. my note? Yeah, I saw the note. I, I left the whole note. I was on top of the bridge. Bad. I was gonna jump off. But did, you did it. Yeah, uh, thanks. You you really think that? I think you did an amazing job. Did you I, just wh yeah, where'd you get? Did you write that? Who wrote that? I don't know. It just came to me, or I, I, it was just it coursed through me. I was just I, I, was beats, bits, uh, punchline setups, wow. tags, all and that, like everything. Yeah, the that, George that whole Sakai thing. stuff. That was all you. Yeah, we got it. We got George Sakai. That's amazing. He's a big fan. You actually. know, and you know what I think it was? Yeah, yeah. I think it was that I was not here. No, I'll tell you I what. Don't know. No, with the old show, no, that would have hurt my feelings. It's really scary, actually. What you but, did. I think I've just been I've been micromanaging you, and it's this is what you needed. No, All no, it took like, to make you come into your own yeah. was me threatening to kill myself. No, you're my best friend. I wanted to do the show with you. It's not about me. It's about you know, both of us. I think we need it. to let you fly, no, dude. The I Adam Freeman show is finally kind of like it's, it's finally close. happening. No, I well, okay. I appreciate you liking the monologue, but you know, okay, all right. I mean, I guess if you say that, I mean, yeah, I don't don't kill yourself. Well, I tell, I'll tell you what. Okay, I I gotta run. Yeah, because I got some. I got another thing I got to do. All right, but you. I think the the key here is uh -huh. you got to be let off on your own. Where are you going? You're on your own. I got to. Uh, no. I go back to the bridge. There's a girl accusing me what of rape, you? so I got to I got to threaten on, to kill dude. myself. No, it's again. not that kind of show, please. Okay. Anyway, well, but it's my life. That's my plan. Okay. So you're so I'll tell you what. I already got a guest. I already got a guest plan for you. You got a guest. You're gonna love it. It's gonna okay. be a great guest. So all you right. get out there. I'm gonna take off, and it's all you from here on. Oh, okay. Out. Uh, I'll I'll try. <laughs> I won't let you down. Yep. No. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest tonight, you know him, you love him, Dracula.
Good to see you, folks. Yeah. Thanks. You should put those on. I feel like I'm back from the dead. What, I got these headphones? Yeah. Oh, here I am. Yeah, just like we used to do in the old neighborhood. Uh, yeah, you know Israel. I mean? Israel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no, true. No, Transylvania. 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 We got Transylvania. a lot of... New uh, visitors to Transylvania because uh-huh. it's kind of a deceptive name. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. not very welcome. That must but be pretty confusing. I know. <laughs> you know. I mean, if you a yeah. lot of a lot of my the, you mm-hmm. know my guy you know the guys I hang out with yeah, in Transylvania yeah, they're not too happy with the tourism industry yeah. these days. It's confusing. But I tell them it's like imagine if you were a racist redneck and yeah. you lived in fucking black peopleville, Georgia. <laughs> That's right. And somebody yeah. and you know a couple of the they, Johnsons and Simmons are planning a family vacation no they wouldn't like that they a family like reunion that. they they's, wouldn't like they'll that. say well why don't we go here yeah yeah very that's confusing. right there in the name mm-hmm. we'll go yeah. here yeah. and they show up yeah. and now you're mad mm-hmm. yeah now it's you're true. mad. yeah oh well no. it's good to be here do you mind if i put these on yeah oh absolutely it's go a little ahead. bright in here go for ahead me. go ahead i am the prince of darkness that's what they say right? after all thanks for having me you so. look great i think you look good oh well I don't know about that, but uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to. I don't want to. Inter- I mean, this is amazing. He, the, the, these guys don't know. I, I knew you back when you were. Yeah, little picture. Were, well, little third, picture. third mic on a on a on cum a cum po- on a cum podcast. Yeah, a racist one. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they say. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now yeah. look at you. You got your look own goddamn show. Yeah. Yeah. Who'd got you make? A, who'd you make a deal with to get here? <laughs> I think Maybe a know. friend of mine. I think you know. <laughs> Maybe a friend of mine, folks. How about that? How about that? Uh, yeah. Ir- Irvin, uh, Irv, uh, who's the guy? Who's the Eagles? What's the name of the manager for the Eagles? The um, guy that k- when uh, Don Henley killed that girl. Yeah, I forget his name. Irv, <laughs> I keep want to. I want to say. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> I want to say Asimov. Yeah, yeah. I think which, that, uh, I think that's right. Yeah. Um, perhaps. Yeah. So it's been a while. It's been. It's good to see you. Eric. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I, I think the people have been wanting to hear from you. Mm-hmm. It's been. You know. You've been. Uh, now, am I the first guest on the show? I think we had Dan Soder. Have you seen Billions? No. No. It's on Showtime. No, I mostly read. I don't have a TV. I what do you read? Scrolls. Scrolls. Yeah. Yeah. No. Scrolls and and the uh, letters. I guess. Letters. Yeah. 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 Like with written by in quills and stuff like that, right? In cursive? Uh, yeah, cursives. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I, I write in cursive, but I'm sort of a classic guy. You are kind yeah. of an old school guy. They don't really make them this way anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I say. When I look at you, I'm like, oh, you know. Yeah. That's a <laughs> that guy could be exist in any time period, uh-huh. and you have. You've existed in a lot of time I've periods. lived in a lot of time yeah. periods, yeah. yeah, that's for sure, because I'm Dracula. I'm yeah. the vampire Dracula. So, um, just I to make Just to be clear, in case people are listening, you want to yeah. remind them, you don't know when they've... It's, I'm sorry. You, you know what? Have to say that's it. something a producer of the show would yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And not the Prince of Darkness himself. Well, I think we said your old name friend of Adam Freeland. Yeah, yeah. Old, old. We go back. We know each other from Jewish summer camp. Yeah, yeah. We go back. Yeah, I was a true. counselor there. You were. You were the. He was the cool counselor. I was. I was 650 yeah, years yeah. old. Can he you let believe us, that? He let us sneak out to make out with the girls. And now I'm 900, which yeah, makes 900. you what? 250 years old. <laughs> let's put it. Let's let me let me retake that bit. I yeah, was yeah. go again. 900 and. 87 yeah. years yeah. old. That's true. That's right. And you were what, 15? I was 15. Yeah. yeah. It's no pubes, this kid. No pubes. Still no pubes. 15 years yeah. old. They call him yeah. No Pubes Friedland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, I wouldn't put that. I remember. There. Yeah, they, yeah. They, 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 in, in his, uh, in his bunk. Everyone, all the other kids, they shaved their pubes off, and while he was sleeping, mm-hmm. they filled. I don't know about him sharing. They this. filled yeah, his mouth this. Yeah. with pub with all of their mm-hmm. pubic hair. Yeah, well, I think it was inappropriate for you as a counselor to take part in uh, and they in, in bullying. Well, bullying I didn't there, take there. part in. It. I just, well, I mean, I laughing. thought it was hilarious. You were laughing. You yeah. watched it happen. You didn't stop it from happening. Well, you know, I'm up at night. I'm well, yeah, in I in the middle of the night. I got to sleep during the day. So yeah, I don't. That's true. I don't even know why they hired me as a counselor. Yeah, you were quite a bad counselor. Yeah, I was just up at night watching all the pranks happen yeah, three kids lo- uh, died yeah lost three kids lost we lost well three look kids. i just killed them and drank their blood at least i wasn't <laughs> fucking them. come on Some of those other we're guys. on we're on camera right now yeah, yeah. i mean you <laughs> yeah. think the catholic church is bad and it is you yeah. should see a jewish summer camp <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's good jewish uh, summer camp 
might be uh might be actually the number one worst type of camp filled with Jews. I don't know about and that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's making a joke, folks. He's yeah, joke. they're just, worse. They're worse camps. I'm just kidding with Jews. You know, it's um, crazy. I I kind of I honestly to be honest, I don't know if you talk about the Holocaust in the show. Uh, I got I got some yeah, notes from your producer. That, we try to stay off. I got some go notes ahead. from your producer that okay, you guys love talking edit about around the this. If you want, we can edit around this. Oh, sorry. I, okay. yeah, I had no, no I'm idea. just saying. But you, it's not. Uh, go ahead. He said you love Holocaust stuff, but uh, you know, I was I was the worst guy that could be back in back in fairy tale times where I'm from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the olden times. In olden times. Back in London times. <laughs> in the 1500s, worst guy you could be is Dracula. Number one worst guy. You yeah. and Jack the Ripper. Right, and yeah. because I drank uh, literally two bitch, one bitch maybe. Yeah. I drank her blood. Yeah. She didn't even die. Right. She turns into a Dracula, mm -hmm. which is now. All of these fucking whores want to be a Dracula. That's what they want. They want to be That's a Dracula. That's what they want. Yeah. And I've, I'm, so I made one bitch a Dracula, and consensually, by the way. banging down your door, probably. Yeah. yeah. And then you and your friends from camp are doing all this raping <laughs> for the uh, that actresses <laughs> or whatever. Anyways, all I'm saying is, yeah. back in the day, I was the worst guy you could be. And then we get to the turn of the century, and then everybody else is mm -hmm. just... Fi just smashing records yeah it's true no i'm what i'm yeah, a fucking i'm a halloween costume <laughs> mm -hmm. you've been alive for a long time mm -hmm. right and um so i think you're as good a person to ask this question as anyone but what what do you think can be done to uh improve the media these days improve the media yeah well like i told you i don't really read yeah i try to stay off social media yeah you know <laughs> You can't read the comments. Have yeah. you ever read the comments? No, you think I'm a parasite. Yeah, you should yeah. see You should see these blood sucking vampires. Right. They are no, no offense. <laughs> hey. Yeah. None none taken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I don't know. What would I do to change the media? I think more books. Yeah, more books. Yeah. That's a good thing. less less of sort of the the, mm. the psych ephemeral thing now. The yeah. TikTok. Which I, is yeah. I mean, I guess my next question, I guess, is, is Chinese, it's right? Chinese, it's Chinese and propaganda. And they're spying. They're spying on the kids. They're stealing their faces. You know, so the Chinese are the only yeah. culture that don't have vampires. They don't. Yeah. No. Every other, every other type of person: Italian, Irish, English, Romanian, yeah, German, black guy, French. Yeah. I don't know about. They don't really. They don't have vampires. I think their 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 main thing is the Nazi, the spider. What about Blackula? Uh, that came after. That came after. I guess you're right, black guys. I was thinking traditional African folklore. Oh yeah. Oh, you're thinking of like Aesop's fables. Yeah, Aesop's yeah. fables. Yeah, yeah. Um, a Nazi, the spider. Is Aesop African? I think so. Yeah. I thought he was Greek. Oh, uh, maybe he's Greek. Yeah. Maybe I. Maybe I. In my mind, gave that. Maybe he was Ghanese. Yeah, I thought he was from Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. Ghanese. Ghanese. Uh, Ghanese. God, these guys over here. <laughs> You know, <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. Um, so I guess uh, you know, based on your last answer, my next question is probably. But are there any apps on your phone that you can't live without? I don't have a phone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't, don't have phone? a phone at all. Okay. You know, I sleep in a casket. I wake up. Mm -hmm. I play the piano for probably sixteen hours. Mm -hmm. I write letters to beautiful women. Yeah. Whose husband I look like, kind of. Yeah. Well, you can change your face to look like them. Or so yeah, I can change my face, but only a little bit. A little bit. You know, you still got your like type of vibe. Uh, yeah, your only type within, of swag. Yeah, yeah, like if I go into town, I'll uh, I'll be, I have to put on like a steampunk outfit. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, and I'll kind of I'll rock that. And but. chicks are into that. Yeah, they're stupid. They're fucking. They're really they're dumb. dumb. Yeah, yeah, they are idiots. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I have, I have like not they only see you where you're wearing goggles and shit, like I steampunk. Vibes? I, yeah, and the a steampunk scarf. vibe. Because I already have like a whack look, to be honest. Yeah. With you. <laughs> Your I look mean, sucks. Bro. Even back in the 1800s yeah. or yeah. wherever the fuck I'm from, this was a whack look. Back People in were the like, day. that guy sucks. And yeah. but, but that was when guys used to know because a lot of guys dressed like this is they knew women were whack, they had whack taste. Yeah. And so, like now, I mean, you could look, you could look like, you could be like a fucking three hundred pound, like bald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. You know. Yeah, yeah. You, you. So you're just, you, you're just wearing this to get pussy, basically. That's the, that's your point. No, saying. I'm saying you could do that, whatever, however. They'll fuck anyone. Yeah, yeah. Women I mean, I could will look, fuck anyone. These I could days. look, yeah, I could look regular. The fact that I, mm -hmm. I'm, like, they, they think I might kill them. <laughs> oh my god, they love that. <laughs> it's like they, they're they're always listening to these fucking true crime podcasts. Yeah, because they like they're fantasizing about getting Dracula. Have you listened to? Um, have you, are you familiar with Red Scare? By the way, no, have you ever no, heard no, that? No. It's great. Is it a Dracula? Style? It's the only thing I listen to, really. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, well, 
okay. I have to get um, it on phonograph though. Oh, you get it on one of those. You got to go like this. Yeah, I crank it. Like this. I crank it. Yeah. A little bit of this. I crank yeah. Red Scare in the castle sometimes. Yeah, okay. All I right. really like uh what's her name? Who's the All right. It's, uh, um What's the one's name? Uh Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis yeah. from the Red Scare podcast. From Red Scare, yeah. Um anyway, so I got to ask. You. Yeah. Okay. So, um so a lot of people have argued that the the primary threat posed by Dracula mm-hmm. is that you will seduce and you will penetrate and then you will drain other males of their blood or life force, correct? And um, in other words, it kind of serves as a proxy for homosexual desire. Mm-hmm. And blood serves as a proxy, therefore, for semen. Um, so, so what's all that about? You know, they asked me the same question on Chapo Trap House. Did they? Yeah. Fuck. About the Christopher Lash essay. Uh, Chris Craft. Chris, uh, Christopher Craft. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it made me really look like a dumbass. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, I'm sure you can relate. I'm this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Always making an ass out of himself, yeah, one way or the other. Yeah. So what are you doing? You're getting this place painted? Yeah, we're getting it painted. We're doing some oh. work around here. Yeah, yeah. we got a guy. Um, yeah. And then we're going to build a set. We're going to make it. It's going to look really expensive. That's awesome, yeah. dude. You're doing it. It's pretty cool. You're killing it right now. Yeah. The degree of professionalism mm-hmm. that you guys have embraced is. I know. It's I really know. amazing. It's really. It's Nick had the vision uh-huh. and I'm just kind of. It's like I'm, I'm talking to like a real entertainer now. Like, <laughs> Thank a, you. like uh, I feel yeah. like I'm talking to Johnny Carson. I used to be pathetic. <laughs> yeah, people <laughs> hated me. <laughs> yeah, you're like a <laughs> no, you're like a real. This. It's like a real TV this is like show. A real thing. It, this is this like, like this could be this, this is, could be on TV. This is so fun. Yeah, I know. We got cameras. We got an audience. Yeah, yeah. We got the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sitting, I can't, I'm sitting I can't, like a gay guy. I know. know. <laughs> Watching you now, though, it's like I could imagine this this right here cutting right to like. A Microsoft commercial, right? You know, this is like I know. mainstream. I know, I know, dude. This is mainstream. Did you you know, what you this? got a guy. Did, like has this? anyone suggested you get like a uh, an animal guy? We got to get an animal guy. We've been talking about this. Yeah, we've been talking about. This. What animal would you have on? If oh you my could god, get? a marmoset. Marmoset. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the word. Is. Marmoset. A marmot. Marmot. Yeah. Marmot. Like yeah. a little, like a little mm. muskrat kind of guy. Marmot. Mm. Uh, snakes. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Maybe a, a wallaby, one of the small kangaroos. Okay. So yeah, I've been meaning to ask you. When someone asks for like a music recommendation, what what artist or band do you always recommend? Oh, yeah. what uh, Liberace? Yeah, <laughs> um, he's good. He's good. Well, you know, I just like pianos. I like candelabras. Mm-hmm. I like that, big, that big, kind of shit. Big melty candles. Yeah. Like a out of tune piano, that's kind of cool to me. Yeah, it's spooky, scary. Like pirate ship music. Yeah. Perhaps like a like a pumpkin that uh, is like a doorbell, like a, a pumpkin doorbell. Pumpkin. Yeah. yeah, that you know yeah. you, it's like a trick or treat. Oh. And there's a song, oh. that kind of stuff I like. Yeah. Um, Do you think like? Um, are you a musician? I would play a little like, like acoustic guitar. Yeah. Oh, okay. Singer songwriter, kind of acoustic singer songwriter, alt country, kind of a, like a Towns Van Zandt. Bob Dylan. Yeah. It's not necessarily Are you good? Not very good. No. Yeah. No. yeah but I've it's very heart- heartfelt. I've been playing piano for 700 years. Yeah. How'd you get? Are you good? No. Or you do organ or just piano? Uh, no. You don't do like a big uh, three. No, that you're, that's the Grand Duke of Owls. <sighs> I'm, I'm, uh, I just have a, I just have a Cassio. Is that offensive? Did I, was that offensive? Yeah, it's kind of like it's if you had fucked. Muhammad Ali on and you were like, so you set the record for eating the most fried chicken of all time. Right, and it's like, no, that's Joey Chestnut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not <laughs> even a black guy. Not even a black guy. How crazy is it? Yeah, that? and I'm still confusing him with the greatest. Yeah. yeah. Muhammad. How yeah. crazy is it that the, co- the, the world competition for eating chicken wings is between a Japanese guy and some white guy named Joey Chestnut? Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, I think, I don't know, it's crazy. It's I mean, shocking. I, I wouldn't. Attached it's it's more shocking I than if those were the front runners at the biggest dick in the world contest. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. 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 Do you have another question? Do you want to, no. what do you? I mean, uh, it's good to be here. Maybe you can ask me about, uh, and again, not to produce your show. I think you're doing a great job, but okay. maybe like uh, some projects I have going yeah, what on. Do you, are you, uh, what am I doing here in New York? Yeah, what are you, you you're obviously... Here to promote a show, something. You wanna, you wanna give a little plug on the show or something. <laughs> well, you know everything was kind of locked down from COVID. Yeah, um, it was hard. Yeah, it was hard. I was doing the, 
I was doing the show from home. Mm. Yeah, in my PJs. <laughs> well, I went to go. So I wanted to come in to see Hamilton. Yeah. Which I knew nothing about. Yeah. And I, um, I didn't realize it was uh, gay. I didn't realize it was. No, it's very gay. Well, I saw the clothes and I was like, oh, this is for Dracula's. It's a kind of a Dracula vibe. I but thought this was it gay. rapping Dracula yeah. play, but it's about the, the Revolutionary War. Which, you know, if you're as old as I am. That's like Zoomer shit, basically. Yeah, yeah. That's new That's stuff. That's like yesterday. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it just ha- I don't give a fuck. What the fuck is America? Yeah, it's boring. Yeah. You know, it's just a blip, a pimple. People complaining about Joe Biden because he's sleepy. It's like, you know, you know who was president when I was your age? Uh, a know. guy that would eat people. Yeah. He exactly. took over half the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Genghis Khan. Yeah, either him or one of the other one guys. of the other Chinese guys. Chinese, yeah. That's why I don't pissed trust off, him. Pissed off Chinese. Their main guy, their hero, yeah. was basically a vampire. Uh huh. And he t- he took over the world yeah. and then did nothing with it. Didn't yeah. build anything. Yeah, it's true. Didn't create a language. Yeah, it's true. They just kept taking shit over. I don't know. I don't know, but maybe they. Well, I was had there. Some influence. I was there. Yeah. Maybe you they know? got some chicks along the way. You know what I mean? That it, yeah, yeah, probably yeah, cold. Very cold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is funny to imagine Chinese Vikings going town to town and then pulling the women out of the homes and violently raping them. Uh, but then the women are just, n- their dicks are small. So the women are just oh, not I reacting. Know, it's <laughs> the women are just like, <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know about that. <laughs> just, the village is burning down. They're like, are, what are you doing right now? Actually, the, the Mongolians were known for being quite the cocks. Mongolians had big dicks. Coxmen, yeah. I think you're thinking of mongoloids. Oh, mongoloids. Mongoloids. <laughs> okay, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. Shit. I always confuse that. Yeah. Yeah. I see Mongol- like a mentally handicapped person. I'm Mongols. like, oh. Mongols, <laughs> mongoloids, and yeah. Mongolians. Mongolians. Which is the name of my stand-up comedy album released, uh, oh, recorded. Oh, you're doing stand-up these days. Yeah, live in, in Har- uh, Har- uh, uh, Harlem. I uh, know, no. no uh, <laughs> The, on the Dark Horse Saloon in Bel Air, Maryland, <laughs> my my oh, comedy and Havre de Grace. Yeah, in Havre de Grace. Havre de Grace. My album. That. Let me get, make sure my hair is correct. Right. My, <laughs> my, I, I got well. That's I'm trying out a new comedian haircut. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Sort of the Chairman Mao kind of yeah yeah uh, <laughs> it's Dracula it slash Maryland that. comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying that out and. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I recorded an album called Mongols, Mongoloids, and Mongolians, <laughs> live at the Dark Horse Saloon in yeah. Bel Air, Maryland. It's like you laugh and you learn. Yeah, you know. My 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 opening bit is about how I have a ca- my parents got me a casket right next to theirs. Yeah, I guess so. Matching yeah. theirs. That's kind of sad. Like, yeah, you should have a guy like that on. But the you, show. they got you. Obviously, your parents would get you a casket. Because you sleep in my parents. My parents didn't buy me shit, dude. I'm really? not one of these new vampires. Oh, really? Yeah, you moves mean? to Transylvania. Daddy and mommy got them fucking got them their hormone yeah. pills yeah. and their fucking casket. <laughs> I worked my way up. Uh huh. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Who who did you get uh, Dracula by? Nobody Dracula me. I'm like ethnically a. A vampire. Oh, you're born a Dracula. Yeah. So no, I was. I your parents were bats or something. I was a knight uh-huh. that participated in one of the crusades, mm-hmm. and I, uh, while I was crusading, my girlfriend, Winona Ryder, mm-hmm. she got word that I had died in battle while I did battle for God, mm-hmm. and she killed herself. So I came home and I saw her dead, and I couldn't believe the that God would do this to me. So I, I desecrated a statue of Jesus Mm -hmm. and, uh, that I cursed my own soul in doing so. And that turned me into a vampire. So, um, have you ever had a threesome or role player? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Actually I was waiting for you to ask me that honestly. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Um, it's kind of a crazy story. I, I was talking to this girl at, uh, a bar mm-hmm. and I didn't realize that she her friend was there mm-hmm. and so and then I thought they were lesbians yeah and then <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> yeah I thought they were lesbians yeah. but then they said do you want to they were like way too drunk and they were like do mm-hmm. you want to come back to our hotel room and I did you went back to the hotel with them yeah and I let I mean well, I think we had sex I guess yeah, and they yeah. were like kind of a they were it seemed uh 
sort of incapacitated. So you fuck these lesbians. Yeah. But that must be nice uh, for a Dracula if they're, you know, it's that time of the month, if you know what I mean. Well, no, it's a different, uh, that's mostly uterine lining. Oh, it's not blood. Which does nothing for me. That's basically the See, crystal yeah. light of the... Really? It's, yeah, it's it doesn't do anything. It's disgusting. Dude. It's nasty. Yeah, it's yeah. gross. What does it taste like? Like pennies or something? Uh, metallic vibe, right? Yeah, yeah. kind of. Well, women are usually low in iron. Yeah. Uh, Dude, that's another so thing. A, they're stupid, they're and B, they're lo- they're anemic. They're so fucking lazy. Yeah, yeah. I would honestly, if anything, I yeah. would prefer to drink the blood of a, like a little Danish boy. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Like a guy that tastes like a chocolate or something. Yeah, who's just been he's been wearing shorts that are way too tight his entire yeah. life. Yeah. Just riding his riding his antique bicycle around this stupid mm-hmm. town. Yeah, he's like kind of a woman's style haircut. Yeah, he's yeah. always getting into arguments with an old man wearing a newsy cap. <laughs> um, one of those. Their blood tastes like uh, like mandarin oranges. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. You know who told me that? Jeffrey Epstein. He did. Yeah, friend of yours. Well, I, I, I never met him, <laughs> you know. Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. No, I'm not, I've never met him. No, I was. Uh, I just yeah. happened to be. I'm not on the list. I happened to be in jail with him. Oh, you were in jail with him. Yeah, I was stealing Rolexes in Chinatown. They put me in fucking. Uh, right. Yeah, that's the jail down there, and I just happened to be down there while he was down there. Yeah, the jail is in Chinatown. It is. Yeah, yeah. it's true. They never said that that he killed himself in Chinatown. It's very funny to imagine. Yeah. Uh, or he was killed himself. Right, right a yeah. bunch of Chinese people walking around. Yeah. And they don't realize that Je- they don't know who Jeffrey Epstein is. Yeah, they don't know he's like right over there. Yeah, they don't know he's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The they, entire they time. would because they would think that's funny. Yeah, they would think that's funny for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You ever? What's your favorite kind of Chinese food? Not that, not to do the thing again where I turn into the interview here. No, 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 no. This is like a loose show. We I keep having a weird other. thing yeah. happening with my head. I feel like I'm I'm getting. I'm getting real dizzy or something. Like what? I'm about to have a stroke. I don't what know. Happened? It's been happening recently. Really? Yeah, in general. You got to take care of yourself, man. I'm trying to, but half my head will go numb. You and need I'll a feel vacation. Like I'm gonna, uh, you need a vacation. To where? I don't know. I can, I, I can only go out at night. I can go to laser tag or yeah. cosmic bowling. Those are the only two things I can do. Well, do you, I mean, if you were planning your perfect vacation, yeah. Like, would you prefer like an action-packed vacation or more of like a sleepy beach relaxing kind of time? Well, I can't go to the beach. Well, you can go at night. I, well, it's dangerous. Oh, it's beautiful. There's no lifeguards. Have you seen the uh, the beach? The movie, the beach. The movie, the yes. beach. Yeah. Do you remember when he's in, in the ocean with the chick? Yeah. And they're like making out, and they got those like bioluminous, right? Like krill. Have you seen the movie Old? Uh, no, I haven't seen it, but I heard yeah. about it. Yeah, I thought. Yeah. I thought. What would happen if I went to that beach? Yeah. And I thought maybe the, this the hell that you live in, yeah. where you can never die. Right. Maybe if you went to the old beach. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. That'd be great. Yeah. But is it, did you find it or? What, the beach? Yeah. No, it's a fictional thing from a movie. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm Dracula. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you, uh, you got more questions? I mean, I got a couple. Sorry, I feel like no, I'm no, real, I'm real, talking, no, 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 and it's talking. not you. I, I, I feel like I, I got something, something weird going on with my brain here. What's going on? I don't know. I feel like I'm about to collapse. Really? Yeah. Should we... Power through? Yes. Power through? Uh-huh. Fuck. Let's continue okay. the... What's going on? You got I'm some... just checking the time. Oh, you're in a rush. I've got 15 minutes. <laughs> 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 you got 15 more minutes for your own show, or... I know. No, I'll, go, I'll go late. I'll go late. Uh, what I'm do you have? I'm doing this for the show. What are you doing? I don't know. I have to be in one scene. I have one line. But yeah. I'm doing it so we can What's get the line? Maybe we can I practice right now. The, I haven't even read the script. So you're just showing up to something? Are you sure it's a movie and not a pornography? Uh, I think it's a movie. Yeah? Yeah. What's the line, do you think? I don't know. Like, well, you know, that, that's a hole I'd like to fill. Some, so I don't know. Something like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. You think that was good? Next question. So what's the weirdest crush you've ever had? Uh, uh-huh. uh, let me think. What is the what is the weirdest crush uh, I ever had? Yeah. Um, an ice cream truck man. No way. Yeah, and I'm not gay. No but way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you for real? Well, I just I was so excited to see the ice cream truck, yeah. and then yeah. I don't know, like the, the the idea that this guy just lives in a truck filled with ice cream, right. and he sort of represented freedom. 
And in that moment, I think I was eight years old. I was like, I want to fuck this guy. And I don't even know what that meant. Yeah. That was yeah. around during the, the pre-Crusades era. Yeah. Well, it was a rickshaw. They or had a Chinese a guy Chinese pull around. Ice cream rickshaw. Yeah. An ice yeah. cream rickshaw. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Not to be confused with the rapper Ice Cream Rickshaw. <laughs> <laughs> you may be familiar with. <laughs> and this classic hit, uh, <laughs> Chinese <laughs> Diamonds. I don't know. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, so you, 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 did you Dracula him? Did you, you bit him? Oh no, I was I wasn't Dracula yet. If you remember the story, yeah. my girlfriend uh she, oh, killed, yeah, herself she killed herself while, herself I, was while you were out of the yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in war. Yeah, yeah, So you lost your wife, right? Sure. You became a Dracula. Yeah, my girlfriend. She wasn't my wife. Your girlfriend. Yeah, okay. we were gonna get married when I got back. If she had been my wife and she yeah. fucking killed herself while I was at war, I'd say, Whoop thank God. Thank God. No, I can get one of these Asians. Yeah, it's because that than, was new back then. It's better than what the you know, That's mainly why I don't like them is cuz you know, I was I'm getting just <laughs> Romanian dog pussy. Yeah, yeah. And then here comes this Genghis Khan guy mm -hmm. and you see the man and you're like, "What the fuck is that?" But yeah. then the women and you're like, "I could have been fucking this." Yeah, what are they running away from? You yeah. know, why are they conquering the world? Right. When they got those back at home. They already got the home. choicest pie hole yeah, in yeah, the whole world. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, brother. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's true. Um so so you you were talking about how you write letters to women? I do. Yeah, so what kind of shit do you put in like You know, it's what like do you, what do you got to say to a bitch? Fuck you, bitch. Phoebe Robinson isn't funny, you know. You say that? Yeah, I'll send letters in the you know, like kill yourself. Like <laughs> men don't, you know, men don't find you attractive. Mm. I, you know, like Lindy West, you're disgusting. <laughs> you're fucking. And then I'll sit there, I'll write him in cursive, and then I dip wax, and then yeah. I mail him off. You do this thing, you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I cool. get my feather out, and you I write a, a letter to. Yeah, I write you a cursive a, letter. You write to, a cursive letter to a bitch. Yeah, to to all the bitches in the media. It, yeah, yeah. Dear Hillary Clinton, fuck you. <laughs> You have Parkinson's, yeah, you have yeah. Kuru disease, you drink blood, but in a bit way that's bad and yeah. not a cool way yeah. like I do. That's not nice. Really. Yeah. yeah. You're the reason. F we should have had Bernie. Yeah. And I only voted for him because he's not some dumb bitch. Because he's a man. And he's a man. You meet you me both. Yeah, Bernie. that's why. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. You sorry, you got more questions? There's one more. I yeah. Don't know. I don't know. It's stupid. What's the, Let's hear it. What's your biggest weakness? My biggest weakness, yeah. uh, uh, checks mix. Really? Yeah. You can't help yourself. I can't. I go Because sometimes I go crazy with it. Yeah. I'm like, can you get this away from me? Yeah. Get this checks mix away from you me. You know what always pissed me yeah. off is yeah. is the commercials for checks mix. Uh huh. They always feature a mom and a son making it at home. Yeah. And I would always be like, Mom, can we make checks mix? Yeah. What we go, why would we have to buy it in the store? Well, yeah. she was always fucking the, the principal. In my school, because I was I was uh, learning disabled, mm -hmm. and back in the day, back way back, the when, moms had to fuck. The yeah, you've seen off. Forrest Gump. Yeah, That's the, the way same shit. Yeah. You have to. You have to, you, 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 Something bad comes out of your pussy. Mm -hmm. Something bad's got to go into your pussy. That's right. That's that's, that's the that's first. That's the first math lesson you learn yeah. as a young disabled boy. That's an old man's dick. And yeah, yeah. And, and to to g attend a normal school mm -hmm. as a young. You had the things on your legs. Uh yeah, I was a fucked up kid. Honestly, becoming a, becoming a Dracula, they never thought you could do this. Yeah. yeah, you know, it really it really benefited me. Yeah, sure, my girlfriend died, but now yeah, I'm sure you had a lot of haters, like coming up. Yeah, you know? well, and got, if they can see you now, yeah, I mean they're dead. The more yeah. successful you get, the more people hate you. Yeah, you know, and that's just part of the game. People take shots. You, you think that it's a marker of you doing well. Yeah. Yeah, like universal hatred. The more, the, you know, the famous expression, and I was actually the one that said it. First they laugh at you. Yeah. Then they call you a faggot. Yeah. Then they beat you up. Yeah. Then they ignore you. Yeah. Then they remember how much of a faggot you are. Yeah. Then they laugh at you again. Uh-huh. And then you try to reinvent yourself. Uh-huh. And now you're 50 years old and you're cr creating the new internet. Mm -hmm. Now you're in a in Dasha's movie. <laughs> now you're in an auditorium mm -hmm. s saying really embarrassing autistic things out yeah. loud. Yeah. Now you have a Substack article. Yeah. Now you're a different kind. You've reinvented yourself, but you're a different kind of fucking loser. Mm -hmm. Now you, now you don't want to say the f slur <laughs> three times in a row. You know, whatever the expression. I thought that was gonna go somewhere. It didn't. 
It didn't. But yeah, you so came, that's answer, to answer that. your question. Yeah, Jack Smex. I thought you came up. I thought it was Eleanor Roosevelt actually mm-hmm. who came up with that. I'm yeah, not, you want to talk about a whore? <laughs> really? Sure. She tossed it around. Oh uh, yeah. Damn. See, you know all this kind of shit because you're yeah. so you've been around. Well, her husband didn't have fucking his legs didn't work. So she was she was going around D.C. He, he said he said Eleanor, do what you need to do. Yeah. I could never I could never make you feel like a real woman. Yeah. So therefore, He's like, what do you want me to do? Drive my chair into your <laughs> pussy? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Is just wheel myself in there? <laughs> Yeah, and he said, "Fuck it." He put his head down. And he's like, "I'm gonna be the best goddamn president there ever and was." He fucking did it. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. You should do. Be, Which, by the way, this, you gotta stop jacking for off. one reason and one reason only. Yeah, the camps. That's what made him. I'm a pro. I'm a pro Japanese in, internment. I'm a pro internment camp FDR guy. Uh, I don't know if that's what his legacy is. I think it was kind of. I think we people have the government has apologized for it. You know? To who? The to the f- to Jiro the dreams of sushi to the Japanese to fucking George Takai that's who gets on, what man. come on man I, he doesn't seem it was an ugly time in I don't recall history. him either of them saying apology except no, it was an ugly time in our nation's history I think. yeah yeah I think we can uh, do you have another question for me or well, I'm out of, out of my question. You're out of questions. So maybe I you asked you 15 questions. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe you, I could, that was you could say thank you for being here. Or? Well, yeah. I mean, um, thank you for being here. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's always good to see you. Um, it was good wanna, to you see you. Again. Well, how do you feel? Um, I thought it went well. I, you know, I think I aced the monologue. I think the guest interview... I don't know. I, I, I think overall is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I, it depends how you feel. I mean, we're partners in this. I feel good, dude. I feel fucking, I feel powerful as, as a producer. Yeah. I feel, uh, you know, I feel like um, as you come into your own, you're going to get more. Oh, you want, you want the grape? Well, it was on the ground, actually. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, you know, we're going to, we're going to, it's going to be fun and we're going to have a fun journey. And I think the audience is going to be happy with what we did today. I think so. People respond to effort. I find, Yeah. you know, like well, if you go to a doctor, cause basically being a comedian, it's like being a surgeon, you know, in some ways, yeah, you got it. Like society is like a, uh, some, a bitch that's got a tumor in her right. titty. We dissect the heart. And the tumor is laughter. The tumor is bring out. the tumor is a hard lump in yeah. a big tit. I see what you're saying. And life is uh, life is like a titty, and but it's a titty that's got cancer. Yeah. When you're a kid, life is just you know it's literally it's a big titty that you can suck on, mm-hmm. and as you get older, it gets uh, cancer in there. And comedians, they they they're as important as surgeons, is mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Yeah. And I forgot uh, where the analogy started, but basically. You know, like the same way, like people don't give a shit if a comic does bad as long as they're there's a uh, they see them getting better. You know, mm-hmm. people like the same way a doctor, you know, yeah. if the doctor fucks up surgery, they just want to see him tomorrow improve. Right. Like he fucked up a bit. Yeah. You know, he'll go back. He'll listen to the tape. Mm-hmm. He'll get it right tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I mean? What are some other professions that comedians are like? President of the United States. Yeah, school. Uh, a guy that drives a school bus filled with uh, retarded kids. Mm-hmm. But the wait, no, that's a never mind. Yeah, I thought for a second I thought it was inventing a job that would be prestigious, but that's a regular job you can have. Yeah, no one respects those guys. Yeah, yeah, because a school bus driver pretty much. They're just worse at driving, so they give them retards. They probably drive those buses <laughs> drunk more than regular people drive re- regular cars drunk. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine if you're if you're this guy who drove the retarded bus, mm-hmm. drove your retarded son to school, yeah. drunk drove the entire, dr- all of them mm. into a tree? Yeah. You, you got to be like, ah, fuck. Shit. Damn. Yeah. It's like we, but the hit, their lives must have taken such a sharp turn because they probably started off in NASCAR. You know? Who, the parents of mentally disabled people? No, the bus drivers for them. You know? Oh. And they've like... Fucked up so many That's times. That's how actually tight short buses started. It was during the bootlegging era. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. They would hide liquor in... Uh, Underneath the... In tiny buses. 
And the cops would pull him over and be like, this, no, this ain't look like no damn school bus I've ever yeah. seen. And they'd, he'd be like, you, are you, you got liquor in here? Mm-hmm. And they'd say, no, we, we're, taking, uh, we're taking disabled kids to school. Yeah. And the cops would just like, carry on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Everything checks out. That's yeah. where that song "Carry On My Wayward Son." That they, they, they made oh, he was a wayward son. Wayward. Yeah, a little bit wayward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wayward. R word. Yeah. Carry on my R word, son. Was the original <laughs> title of the song. <laughs> yeah, and they had to change it. So, what do you think? What do you think we would do? What are, what are we going to do for the next episode? I don't know. This was our most high concept, most uh, ambitious episode. You know what today. we forgot to do? A theme. Shit. And I think the theme is going to be, in retrospect, hasty decisions. Yeah. Your yeah. hasty decision not to kill yourself. My hasty decision to kill myself. To kill yourself. Which ended up being a good move. Yeah. And then my hasty decision to not kill myself. Which ended up being because an even better move. I, l- I watched the monologue and I thought it was good. But I haven't seen how the audience will react to it yet. Yeah. I, I just know. don't, you know, first off, I don't want to let you down. I beat the charge, by then the way. Then next is my parents and my family. I don't want to let them down. Yeah. But the third and very close third is the is is you, is the listener. At home. Is the audience. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, you stuck it out. You stuck with us uh, for another episode of the Adam Friedland Show. Do you think show? this was good? I think it was. Huh? I think it was. Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. Yeah. I hope they're having fun, too. I had fun. It's a nice night. We did this all in, what, probably 35 minutes? This episode? Yeah. It's the most work we've put into anything. Yeah. We, did, we put about 35 <laughs> minutes of work <laughs> into that. It is the absolute most work we've put into literally anything we've yeah. ever done together. Yeah. I tell you, <laughs> it gives me a lot more respect for uh, for guys who paint rooms. Yeah. Oh, they did a know? great job. These They're kind of like the comedians of the labor force. It's true. How much work it takes to paint a room. Mm-hmm. That's almost like what it's like to be a stand up comedian yeah. and fly to Chicago and go to sweet green with Mike Racine. Yeah. You know, and I'll folks, I'll be in Irvine, California at the Irvine improv August 18th through the 20th. Yeah. You can check it out. And uh, I think that's probably, that's going to do it. That'll oh, yeah, and up. I'm going to be in, in September, I'm going to be in Seattle, Portland, and Los Angeles. Where are you going to be in Seattle? Name of the venue. The Crocodile. The Crocodile yes. Dundee. No, it's like a, it's like p- grunge. It's grunge Australia. Rocker. No, it's like a rocker. Oh, it might. It's an Australian no, it's not theme. that vibe. It's more like Nirvana, Pearl Jam. Ooh, I know the pussy. Freeland, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, that kind of vibe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Grunge. Big grunge. jeans. Big jeans, yeah. Big jeans, long hair. This is hurting my shoulder to sit like this. Okay. In well, such a horny way. But thank you, guys. Thank you very much for, for, watching. for watching the Adam yeah. Friedland Show. It's a TV show now. It's a TV show. We'll see how this translates to to audio. I can't wait to watch. Uh, Yeah, it would be a dream come true if we could figure out a way to synthesize it. No one's ever done that. No mm-hmm. one's ever done a video podcast before. So we're going to be the first. and uh, this, I mean, this is more of a TV show yeah. than a podcast, I think, at this point. I guess thanks, guys. Adam, you, you take it away while the credits roll. Maybe we'll get a little music going. What do you want? I don't know. You say something because we got to put the... If you subscribe to the, uh, the higher tiers on Patreon, you get your name in the credits. So that could be you. Yeah. And Adam, uh, go ahead and you know p- play us out or something. what Nick and I were just wearing. So if that wasn't funny, it would probably look pretty funny. So thanks for supporting the show. Hope you guys. That's it, right?